My name is Leotha Stanley. I go by Lee sometimes. Uh, I'm a musician in town and I work at the Urban League. I, I'm the director of operations for a magazine called Yemoja Magazine. It's a community magazine highlighting African Americans. And I also am a musician at my church, uh, the music director. And I also do a lot of community events just on my own with a, pro with a program called the Musical Lee. My Hyde music story, it actually started when I was a um, <clears throat> producer of a program called Gospel Carols. And I was looking for a way to find a place to give me deal on violins. And I worked with the manager at that time uh, who said that, well, let's talk. And so I wanted to give violins to people in the school district, students of color that uh, might be aspiring musicians. And I found out there's a way that we can help encourage them by giving them their own violin. And I have an orchestra that I have formed and it didn't have a lot of people of color in the orchestra. So I decided, why not grow your own? And that's what started the Strings program. I decided to do that along with my wife where we do this every year for the last 14 years. Making music is sort of like a birth, I guess, you know. You have nothing and then you have something. The thing is, you put all these components together and it's something that would benefit somebody else. And that's what I love about it. My creation can help somebody else feel better that day. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, there, there's a lot of songs that I've created that I don't even remember how they go because it was a one and done. But just playing music, even if it's covering somebody else's song, just music itself is soothing, it's cathartic, and it's really something that this world will never be uh, rid of. It's gonna live longer than anything else. You know, coming up, I was a young youngster in church, and since I had a piano at the house, I learned to play rudimentary. I was just playing songs. The thing was, the church needed somebody to play some music for their young adult choir, and so I actually did that. So while being a church musician back at 13 or 14 years old, I would look at some of those other people that were playing in the adult choir, and they inspired me. And from there, I listened to records, and there was this composer named Walter Hawkins and his brother Edwin Hawkins on the Southern California Community Choir. They would play some songs and I just listened to those songs all the time. And I think I patterned a lot of my playing from Walter Hawkins. And then it went into Andre Crouch. And then it went into just listening at music and dissecting music more so than just listening at it as a whole. I was asked to play for a jazz band in the late 80s and that helped me to understand a lot of chord progressions. And from there, I started working with the Madison Symphony Orchestra. There was a lot of growth there because I had to start scoring music in a gospel style for an orchestra. So that brought on a lot more instrumentation that I didn't have awareness of. So that helped me grow. So every year for the last 18 years, I've been doing music uh, with the symphony orchestra and that helped me to grow and it's very memorable. And from that, I've been doing uh, concerts on the square with the chamber orchestra here in town. Different events bring on different growths and I like that. You should always have music in your soul because it can help you to get through any trouble that you might have in life or any hurdles that you might wanna jump over. Uh, music can help soothe you. Everywhere you go, you'll hear music, and it's a universal language, so no matter where you are, music can speak to you.